Hello everybody, I am the Demon Pit, and welcome to Dungeon of the Endless. Now, I played the first, like, five minutes of it, and I thought, hey, I could do a video or two on it. On it. If you guys want to see more, like, comment, subscribe down below, but I thought, eh, why not just play it? Play one or two episodes, see if it gets any likes. Like, it's good to try new things, because I know you're sitting here wondering, oh, why am I not playing something scary? Well, sometimes I need a break from murdering myself. And just sitting there trying to figure out everything. I want to play something that just requires a brain, not constant puzzle strategy. No need for this cutscene, because it's just a ship. Alright. Now in this game, this game's very different. So, no matter what mode you set it on, it's going to be surprisingly difficult. So I think I'm going to actually put it on, I'm going to keep it on easy. Just show off some of the, I'm showing off some of the gameplay. I'm not gonna intend on fully beating it unless that's what's wanted. So let's just go with some of the basic heroes, shall we? Let's just select Meezy. All heroes have their own set of like stats. Everything here is very decent. They added a for some reason a TF2 update. I I don't understand. Cause they just like added the heavy, the medic, like all the basic stuff, but no, I'm not gonna use them. I am going to use, no, uh, I'll just use this, do something to start out, got a high amount of attack, that'll do some good, oh, and super speed, alright, let's begin. Yeah, I'm not going to sit there and sit through that cutscene. Alright, so, I only went to the first few minutes, I just learned, like, what you can do. That's just about it. They got some pretty, like, decent little background music. So I sat here thinking, eh, why not? It's pretty enjoyable. I turned down my volume, I now got me a do this game actually having a volume software. Alright, so here we are, right into the game. So, let us just begin, right off the bat. Now this ain't one of your, like, click to combat games. This is actually one where you only right click and then you just, you go in, you fight, that's it. But the game requires you to think, this is more of like a strategic game, per se. The game requires you to just basically use all your thing, your thoughts to be able to combat. By the way, what I put in the middle room here is known as a industry generator. It, it generates the uh, stuff you use to put up little turrets, all that, sort of like a strategy combined with the tower defense. You need to try to be able to get as much as you can. I'll explain everything as I get into each one later. Now, in this game, there are certain events that actually go on. Like this. This is a self-powered room. There are going to be rooms with different side effects, things that slow you, speed you up. But this is the first floor, so can't expect it to get too bad. Okay, so this is where I think I could get to the research part, possibly. Now, I'll get into it in one go. And one more turn. Well, no. Once I go through this door. Every time you open a door, you get more stuff. Alright then, so now that I got two more of the blue, let me get into it. Okay, so, the blue is science. You use it to research. As you can see here, that there's 30, there's all these. I only have enough for tear gas, but that's what I want. That's what I was thinking about getting anyway. So you research it. Within a certain amount of doors being opened, it's gonna it's gonna research it for you. You need to try to play everything strategically and hopefully try to survive because the game gets right-minded difficult. Every character has their own little backstory, everything. I'll probably do a backstory reading at some point in time in another video if this thing gets a pre if this thing gets any likes. Yeah. You're supposed to find the thing in this game known as the staircase. You gotta be able to take it all the way out. Ah, so now I can get to the next part of the game. Well, one of the parts of the game. This is a merchant. 
He basically does everything you do. But based on the floor, he's going to sell things based randomly, like this. He's currently selling it for science, but it could be this. It could be industries, science, or the other restores, which I will get to right about now. Oh. Okay, so, time to get on to the next resource of the game over here. It is known as food. Yes, food, everybody. Food is used to level up as you continue to go on. All you have to do is just click level up. You waste some food. I need to hook it. I should have hooked this thing up to show off my mouse reticle, but not much needed. Okay, so. Each character can unlock a skill as they level up. She, however, has the only skill of web slinger at the moment. Every skill does something special. But some of them don't get it until a bit further on. And every character has their own set of skills. So you can never expect one character to be entirely the same. Now that shows that the that monsters managed to get out. Out. I forgot to power up a room is basically what it said. Now, as you can see a monster's trying to destroy this. It's probably gonna be successful. Now, when things start getting like this, it's always best to try to get a bit of a situation set up. Get someone put on the protection of it, because a monster could easily get to it. Oh, and they all like to talk when you open the doors. Okay, so nothing has appeared here. Oh, wait, here they come. As you can see, as I was correct, this thing is more strategy-based. You're not just going to constantly walk up, use your abilities, click, shoot, etc. This thing, this is one of these games that is meant for people who enjoy a good little strategy. Now, as you can see, I just got me a new weapon. Currently worthless because I got nobody who uses it. So when you don't have enough, when you don't have the type of person that you need for it, just take it to the merchant, sell it if you just don't want it. Get yourself a bit more of the supply. Always check to see what you can research. I'll get one of these. I haven't seen it yet. Okay, so as it appears, it appears I found the stairs because I opened the last floor. Now, this is where the game gets a little bit confusing. Now, you have to be able to get a character with a good amount of speed. So, the one that has the most, which is this character, most likely, because I knew this character. Yes, speed 27, speed 43. Now, the one that has the most speed is going to be used to carry the crystal, which is the power source of this game. You lose this, it's death. Okay, so as you can tell, not much of the game went by. Due to the fact that I haven't gotten into much of the game, I've only done the first floor, I will probably do one more episode guaranteed. And now here comes the part that you need to try to be able to escape. Once you take it off any dark room, monsters are going to start spawning in it like rapid. It's good to just zoom out and start setting your character on the path and then hope to god they don't die. Always try to set things up the smart way. So as you can see... The game in the end will get insanely tough because power becomes almost impossible. And... And as you can see... This is the first floor. Or, I will continue in the next episode. I truly hope to see you all again. And like, comment, subscribe if you want to see another episode of it after the second part. Alright, and I will hopefully see all of you in another video. So, have a good day. Stay in beast mode. And remember, don't enter the pit.